Hi, friends from around the world. How are you today? How was school for you and how has school helped you in life? I mean, uh, you have a lot of anecdotes and uh, a lot of positive and negative experiences in your mind. Uh, that is one thing, but uh, that was 12 years. Well, uh, from my European experience, I have an experience here in different countries in Europe, my own in Germany and my children in various countries of the European Union. So I'm speaking here from our perspective. So for 12 years of, um, of schools and, and college and university degree, another five, so 17 years or so in education maximum, so what did you get out of it? What is uh, the skills and what is the good mindset you get out of 17 years? And that is a, quite a, a tough question to answer, I would say. But let's go a bit into, into this experience. Let's start with the skills. So <clears throat> uh, I give you uh, reading and uh, writing and some maths uh, which you need in order to su survive, so to say, uh, to have a, <coughs> a certain basic success in life, to participate in society if you want, that uh, this school provides you, right? Are you with me? But beyond that, what is beyond that? You don't need 17 years for that. What is beyond that? What about uh, history? What about chemistry? What about physics? What about algebra? What about, uh, you know, some languages? Some languages are good, right? Uh, in, it's a good skills in, in life to know, uh, you know, the basic languages of, uh, of the world, the four or five uh, languages of the world. <clears throat> if you need them, if you uh, really are uh, participating with, with, with these languages in life. But um, other than that, Latin, is that important for you in life? Is that an important uh, skill you received in school in order to make your life easier, to make your life uh, becoming uh, the next level, to, uh, I don't know, to, uh, to get to uh, one... What I want to, to tell you, I think it's not. <laughs> it is clear, right? I think it's not. And why is it not? Well, I think you need to have a financial education because finance is what you are doing every day. You're doing every day uh, or every second day you're, you're buying something, either from the internet or going to the shop or for food or whatever. You're making economic decisions every day. And what about these economic decisions? Have you uh, received something on that wealth management, economic management, financial management. Have you received this in school? I don't. I don't. Have you received, so once you get to, uh, to a certain, uh, you know, a possibility in order to save, uh, save some money, you think save, uh, saving money is good, right? That is what more or less transpires from the school. So uh, you making some uh, savings, you put it in a savings account. That what would you do if it's not very much, is a thousand euros or two thousand or three thousand euros? What would you do? You put it in the savings account. Is that uh, a good choice from uh, the wealth management perspective or from the investment perspective or from the economic? Does that make economic sense? You don't know from school. You don't know. You really don't know. Or is it what you hear on the press, uh, price control, if you're uh, fighting for your votes, right? Uh, price control, you make a price control, or we make a, a wage, uh, minimum wage, or, or so. Uh, oh, that's good, because then I get some more money and uh, I can have more success in life. But is that, is that do, do you understand what is behind? Do you know what happens when a price control uh, comes into place or when a, a minimum wage or a global corporate tax is going to be adopted? What is the implication of this? And how does it maybe uh, have repercussions for your own life? So these are the, the questions which are uh, uh, important. Or is it about 
Uh, what about f financial freedom? Is that something which uh, comes into mind in school, in the 17 years of school, how to manage or how to become financial, financially independent? No, no. All the school probably is being uh, consigned in order to get to a, uh, to a to a job, right? To a, uh, to a, uh, you know, uh, eight hours uh, job, forty hours a week, or so, to lean out your time, your scarcest uh, commodity in the world. You are a time billionaire if you are uh, very young. So the time billionaire will not change with Warren Buffett, right? He has uh, much more money, but he has uh, he is ninety years old. So you will not switch that. No, you are the time billionaire. He is not. So how does that? Uh, the school is designed, I think, more to uh, give you the perspective of a lifetime job or of uh, different jobs over uh, your life, uh, becoming a bit better in each new job where you jump in, but uh, to uh, go through jobs until, what, uh, the pension, 65 or so. Nothing on investment, nothing on, well, you're saving and you get to investment and you get better. So I will tell you my experience. So my experience was that uh, really I didn't get into, uh, 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 into something thinking about investment, yes, but not knowing uh, is another. And uh, thinking about investment, where do you go? In Europe, you would go to the bank. And the bank, what, what does it have to offer you? It has to offer you some kind of, I don't know, some kind of scheme where the house wins always. The casino, old casino uh, the quote, right? Uh, the house wins and the bank wins but, and you loses. That's what happens. So this is in, on the part of skills. Let's look at the mindset. Uh, you get... Uh, bullying uh, at school or uh, you know the children are quite quite cruel with one or, or the other and how does that affect you in uh, school do you get uh, psychological uh, help in these stress cases or uh, did you get a possibility to understand better what you want in life uh, did you get uh, understanding and help in school. Well, uh, I have strengths and I have weaknesses. What are my strengths and what are my weaknesses? Uh, what are the path I want to go in the future? Uh, what is it uh, I, can, uh, I can become? Where's my potential in order to... Did you get all this? Probably not. Well, my perspective here in Europe is not, but you tell me how is your experience in, in other countries. I'm very much interested in how to learn uh, from you and your experiences, how it is that in other countries. So the, uh, my point is, it is not necessary up to the school to provide you everything uh, with regard to that. No, uh, that uh, would be probably too uh, far reached out. But uh, is it the, uh, the school who put into you a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of facts, uh, a lot of learning skills which you really don't need in the future? Or is it rather that the school should prepare you for life? My opinion is it should go in the sense to prepare you for life, not to give you the possibility on cocktail parties to, uh, to boost about uh, your Latin languages. Uh, that is not something which changes your life, which determines your life in the future. So uh, my point, my final point is here, you don't get something out of the school as essential. And the school is selling you probably the contrarian uh, issue. They say, well, you do good in school and you will be good in life. So, but uh, think of that. We're all different, right? We're all different. And you can't be always good in everything. No. <laughs> you, have, you have your potential in one thing and you have your potential probably in another thing, but in all of them, can you be good? No, you can't. 
but that is the basic issue of the of the school you have to be good in everything in order to achieve good notes in school so it is quite contrary to what uh, the humans are are defined the humans are are built for the, we are all different so and these differences are not being detected in uh, school so don't rely on school things we will go through other issues on the on the mindset uh, rather than on other things into the next videos thanks you for tuning in